Hey everyone, what's going on? Jordan here. You'll notice this is not where I normally make my videos. I'm in my family room. Before you ask why, you're gonna find out very soon. I'm in a very, very, very quick video that will follow, probably not far after this one. That I'll, I'll, that'll break down all the details why I'm in here and not in my normal like man cave, office, game room, whatever the hell you wanna call it. It's been a crazy couple of weeks and I feel bad. I'm like a, like five days behind on getting this video out. But what we're doing is something that I've been wanting to do for a while and I almost didn't do this because Wood over at Beat'em Ups literally made the same exact video, s sort of. Like the day after I had mine delivered to me to do it myself. I watched his video and it was a complete shit show. It was awful. So that being said, I decided to go ahead and do it because his was a complete joke. And what that is, is we are doing the Atomic Purple mods. Now these Joy-Cons. Now you've seen my Switch. I have my lime green, neon yellow, whatever you want to call it. Tennis ball yellow as Aaron calls it. Nothing wrong with that color though. I like, I like the tennis ball yellow. So I've been a little apprehensive about doing this. I watched some breakdowns. I watched some other people. I saw, I watched a spawn wave video. Actually the spawn wave video was the one that kind of gave me the confidence to do this because his was, uh, his made sense with his description. I'm, I'm pretty confident in working with small electronics. Uh, you guys, if you saw the video of my yellow Joy-Cons where the latch wasn't sticking and they were just falling off, uh, I have no problem opening them up. Uh, I've worked on computers, laptops specifically with small components, uh, mobile devices. So it's really, it's not a concern for me. I just, you know, I didn't know if it was unnecessarily overcomplicated, which is always a possibility. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking because I'm going to go on forever about this because I'm stalling. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get these installed here on my... Great Joy-Cons and get some Atomic Purple, some classic 64 looking Joy-Cons. Oh boy, am I nervous about this. I'm gonna do my best here to pay attention to what I'm doing and also make sure that I'm not completely blocking everything in my hand. All right, so it looks like it came with, obviously the buttons, but it came with some more screws. How many screws are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if, these are to replace, I don't even know. I'm not gonna mess around with it. Uh, I'm curious if it was, so that way you don't have to use the tri-wing when putting it all back together. So here is the, the right, and here is the left. So I guess we'll start with the left. You only have to actually use the tri-wing to get, uh, get the back off. So these four screws right here. And once again, I apologize, my hand gets in the way. feel because they have a, a different kind of plastic. Okay, so before I put the back screws on, I'm gonna actually test it in the switch and make sure that all the buttons work properly. But I already know the stick works. Test input devices. Input devices work. All right, awesome.
that right one was awful. Makes it uh, almost not even worth doing. <laughs> I had to disassemble and reassemble the, the right Joy-Con, I think probably just five times. Uh, ribbons kept coming out, and if I tightened the board down just a little too tight, the plus button wasn't functioning. Test input devices, test controller buttons, works, 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 plus, minus, oh my gosh, everything functions. But anyways, it does look awesome. Look at that. Pretty cool. Has that vintage 90s Nintendo look with that atomic purple. And like I said, these are uh, it's a different kind of plastic than what you're used to on the Joy-Cons. These are these are a little more rough. These are super smooth, but it feels really nice. I really like the, the softness of it almost. So there we go. Once again, there's a, another shot of it, but this is, the, this is what I'm gonna tell you. If you're super patient, you are really good with working with small tools and parts and so on and electronics, uh, definitely take the challenge on. There's definitely risk if you're not careful that you can you know destroy a ribbon, break a ribbon. Uh, it's the meticulousness of actually reassembling it. It's unbelievable what these Joy-Cons are, <laughs> how they're built. But I'll leave a link below to the kit that I got off of Amazon. You guys can check that out there. There's definitely a reason that I had a hard time finding videos about the teardown for the right Joy-Con because that literally was the freaking worst. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, hit that like button. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And once again, I'm gonna fill you in in the next video after this one, uh, why I'm in the family room. Yeah, anyways, that's that's another story itself. So uh, yeah, until next time, this is Jordan. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.